Hello everyone and welcome to Tech with Robert to get started with the SQL course. Today we're going to talk about casting and converting. So how to cast and convert a column's data type to another data type. And the reason why we need to do this is because sometimes we have, for example, a, let's say we have a street address, which is in text, and then we have a street number, which is in, in a number, and we want to combine these two fields into one column. Then we cannot just say that we want to have this, the text plus the number because those two cannot be combined together. So we need to convert the number to a var char for that particular column. And so before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give a thumbs up on the video if you like what I do. And so without further ado, let's dive right in and talk about casting and converting. And so I have some sample data here. I'm going to link in the description. Uh, start a new query, and we select the database. Oh, it doesn't matter right there. But and so let's say that we have this data here, okay? And we first we select the the customer ID, the customer name, the street name, street number country prefix, phone number, and the row created from sample customer. Okay, and so if we take a look at this data here, we see that we have the street name and the street number. And we have been asked to create a, a new column where we combine these two values together. And so we could try and we can do it like this because we know how to combine different columns we can just say that okay but we want the street name and then we separate it by a comma and then we want the street number but watch what happens if we try to run this we're gonna say that the conversion failed when converting the n varchar value wellington street to the data type in and so because the street name is a varchar and the street number is an integer is trying to add a number and adding it to a text which is not possible and so we need to do some kind of conversion here or casting and there's only one logical way to cast it because a number the number 10 can be converted to a string a text value to represent 10 but we cannot take street name text and convert it to a number because that doesn't make sense. It, it, it's impossible. And so we can say that we want the street name and then we want to convert the street number to an integer. And there are actually, there are two different functions we can use. The first is that we use the cast and the cast is the syntax is, we say select and then we, uh, we have cast and we cast the column as data type like this and then we can as alias okay and so we can say we want to cast the street number as a varchar and the other one is the convert and here the convert is you start with the data type so you have data type you have the column and then you have uh, a format which is optional and so the difference here is that the cast is part of the ANSI standard in SQL and the convert is, is a Microsoft SQL Server specific and the main difference between these two they do exactly the same thing they take a column and convert it to another data type but for the convert you have a third parameter where you can specify a, diff a specific format so that is very useful for when you're converting a date column to a varchar, for example, because then you can specify here the format that you want on a date. So if you want year, 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 month, month, day, day, or month, month, day, day, year, year, or whatever, or you want to, you know, with the spaces between them or a comma or a point, you know, so there are different formats that you can use, which you cannot use with the cast. And so, like, some people ask like should you use cast or convert and it's up to use I usually just use convert because I'm used to it but you could use cast as well like if you don't need to use this format and just 
use cast if you need to use a specific formatting use convert it's not a big deal I thought we can use both of these here so we can say the street name plus and we say we want to cast the street number as an varchar we can name this cast full address so watch what happens now now we see we get a column here where we have combined we've taken the well the street name and we've added the number here the street number but we needed to we needed to convert it to a varchar because we cannot take a number and add it to a text so we need to convert the number to a text for this specific column here and we can use the same thing we can also use convert here and we will get exactly the same result so we can use convert but then here we type n varchar instead and then we have the street number and we can name this convert full address for example so you see those give you the exact same thing and we can take another example so if we see here we have the country prefix and a phone number and so just to sort of show you how you can use these type of string functions together with the, the conversions is let's say that this we wanted a column where we had this with the country prefix and a number and then the first number so we should start from the second number because this prefix here should replace the first number here in the phone number and we need we need we know how to do that we can use a substring and since this is a string and we're going to use the we're going to start from the second position in a phone number and it's a substring so it takes a string so we need to convert the phone number to a varchar right so now when we have this we can say that we want the uh, the uh, well, once we've done that we want to start from the second position and we want to continue through the whole length of this column here and now we can take the, the country prefix and we can add together with that let me just see I think I'm missing something oh yeah here close that and so now we see that and this here we, we have taken away the eight here we started from the second one and we have added the country prefix here and just to sort of sort of show you the difference here between the cast and the confer when it comes to dates is let's say that we wanted to say that the date is equal to and then we take we take the row created we we'll get an error again here because it says that the the types varchar and date are incompatible to the add operator and that is essentially the same thing that we got before with the varchar and the integer but now it's the same thing with the, the date and the string so we need to convert this as well so we can use that we can cast the row created column to a varchar and we can name it cast date for example and now let's say that we want it in a different format so we can say that the date is uh, we want convert we want to convert to a varchar the row created and now if we add the format 112 for example look what happens now so we specified with the regular we're just using the row created as it is but we just converted it to a varchar but here you see we used to we used to convert and we specified 112 so 112 took this date and it converted it to another format and so we can copy this and we can see another one here we can say 102 for example and so now we see that we get a dot here so that is the main difference between cast and conf and the convert so when you for example when you convert num uh, integer to a float to float to an integer or whatever I usually just use cast and if I just want a very straightforward cast for example to a date to a varchar I can also, also use cast but what I need to 
do some different formatting. I, I usually use the convert function here, so we can add that third parameter here, which the cast function does not have. And so we, just, we can end this by just simply showing another example. If we just we declare a my number, my num variable here, which is a float, and we say that it's going to be ten point five six seven, let's say. And if we now select my num here, we see that we get that number, and we can then cast my num as an integer, and what happens if we do that? Then we said that this is an integer, so it's going to take the only this part here because it's an integer. And if we wanted to combine it with a text, we could say my num is, and then we must cast my num as a varchar. And so now, for example, we see that this was just uh, oh. <laughs> my mom instead of my mom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we see that the my mom is 10.567. And so that is it for casting and converting. In the next lecture, we're going to take a look at creating your own user defined functions. So we have uh, what that is is i'm going to take to the next lecture as well but say that we have the substring here so when we want to perform a specific task we can use the substring if you wanted to you know, get a substring of a text but we can also create our own functions that we can use so if we have like we notice that we have some data that you know we need to perform pretty complex you know transformations or calculations on that column instead of just re-entering that code all the time and rewriting it uh, every time we can create a function to for example let's say uh, it's a very complicated uh, calculation to calculate the profit let's say but we could create a function that said calculate profit and then we can you know give a parameter to those two things that we want to uh, together or calculate the profit from and then all of that heavy logic is performed without us having to rewrite it every time so that is what we're going to look at in the next lecture so i will see you guys then